Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to understand the constructor property. There's a special constructor property located on the object instance of duck and beagle uh, that were created in the previous challenge. So duck and beagle, with each of these, um, duck.constructor is equal to bird, and this prints true. Uh, beagle.constructor is equal to dog. So we're seeing that we can call this constructor property on instances of objects which were created with constructors. And if we do the constructor, we're going to get back a string with the um, name of the constructor function, meaning that the bird. So here, um, okay, we don't have that example right now. So note that constructor property is a reference uh, to the constructor function that created the instance. The advantage of the constructor property is that it's possible to check for the property to find out what kind of object it is. Here's an example of how we could how this could be used. So we've got a function join bird fraternity and then there's a candidate. If the candidate constructor is equal to a bird. Okay, so this is a function that only allows birds to join the candidate uh, for, or the bird fraternity. Um, if, they're, if their constructor is not, if they're not constructed of, as a bird, they're going to, this function will return false. Here there's a note, since the constructor property can be overwritten, which will be covered in the next two challenges, it's generally better to use the instance of method to check the type of an object. So instance of would be better to use than constructor in general. So we want to write a dog, join dog fraternity function that takes a candidate parameter and using the constructor property and return true if the candidate is a dog, and otherwise false. So we're basically just going to write the exact same thing as this code here. Um, join dog fraternity. So if the uh, candidate dot uh, constructor is equal to dog, then we want to return true. Uh, else we could return false. Run the tests. It looks like the pass. Okay, cool. Uh, how's another way we could write this? If it's not equal to dog, we could return false and otherwise return true. But this wouldn't actually work, right? Because if it's not equal to dog, this would allow in things like. No, this would work. This would also work because if it were bird, it would be not equal to dog. And if it was anything other than dog, it wouldn't work. Um, and so yeah, uh, this is a pretty straightforward one. Uh, the whole idea here is that if we were to console.log, uh, the, well, I guess we don't have one yet. Let's create a new dog, right? So let's let Rufus equal dog, a new dog whose name is Rufus. And if we were to console.log Rufus, we would see we've got a dog named Rufus. And now what we can do is go, now you see down here, I can go constructor and that'll give us a function of dog. And so is constructor equal to dog? That's false. Mm. Candidate gone. Oh, so what we want to do, we, the question is dog. This returns true. So Rufus.constructor is equal to true. And so you could use this as a way to test to see what object, what sort of an object you're working with. Anyways, Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.